viewers welcome back to refresh coding and in this video we will see how we can download a file from s3 and how we can delete the objects and how we can delete the bucket because since you know the buckets are uh, the storage is chargeable it is not free so do not use it unnecessary so once your work is done you are done with your storage uh, you can uh, download that object if suppose uh, some 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 of your other colleague or team member has uploaded some file in the bucket and you want to download it just you can simply click on this object and you can download then this object will be downloaded in your system if you can see here it is downloaded here and if you are done with this you want to delete it because the more number of files you will keep the more you will be charged so if you want to delete it just select it from here and delete this file from here this file will not be deleted from your system but it will be deleted from the cloud storage okay so just uh, type here uh, like permanently delete you can copy it from here and aws will give you some warnings like if you will delete you will not get this object again and all those things so if you are done with the file you can ignore it so if you can see here successfully deleted object so after deleting the object if you will keep the bucket only empty bucket then also it is chargeable so once your work is done it is recommended that you delete the bucket also if you don't want to pay any unnecessary charges so just go to buckets and here just select your bucket and delete it so it will give you once again it will give you some warning here you will have to type your bucket name so i'll just give refresh coding bucket and i will delete bucket so your bucket also will be successfully deleted now once again if you go to the buckets and you check there won't be any bucket so this is how you will work with aws s3 or amazon s3 so in this up till now in this videos we have seen how we can uh, create a bucket upload an object download an object and host a static website hosting a static website is also the same thing we have uploaded a html file and we have accessed the file through url so you can upload any website any file to your uh, s3 bucket like this and you can access it by using the url now how to host a dynamic website that we will see in the upcoming video thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel and like the video Thank <music> you.